Good morning, Jamie here with more Gutenberg Block Editor tips and tricks. Today's tip is a very short and easy one, but it's a big improvement because it lets you basically drag blocks around your pages without having to do it in the page. You can now do it from the list view. So let me show you how this works, it's really cool. First thing to say is you do need the Gutenberg plugin to actually get this functionality, but this will be folded into WordPress 5.9. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend using the Gutenberg plugin on production sites yet because it always runs slightly ahead of what's in the core so it hasn't been tested quite as thoroughly but this is a great signal of what's coming so let me just show you how it works so this is the scenario I have this page here and what I'd like to do is change the order maybe this section here would be better if it was the first block on the page now historically or previously in Gutenberg you can actually do that you can click on these and you can click them up and down like this and that's great but when you've got really long pages, it can be a bit of a faff to do that. So now in the list view, which is these three little lines here, that, that opens now in this, this permanent panel, which is great, and you can just close it down. But that gives you a view of the hierarchy of the blocks within your pages. So it's fantastic actually for looking at the hierarchy of your blocks, but now what you can do, so if I want this cover block to be at the top here or at the bottom, you can literally just drag and drop them. And you see that you get that blue line and I can just drop that all the way down to the bottom. So you can imagine when you've got long pages, this is just an absolute godsend. If I want to add it to the top, I can just drag it all the way up here. So there we go. That's now in the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin. You can go and test it and download it. What would be great, and I've seen a few people asking for this as well, is if you could actually rename these um, these sort of block headings here. So it give you more. You could potentially you can actually write the heading in the page. So when you're viewing them it will give you more context of what the content is actually about. I'm sure that will come as well. So th th there we go. That's the, um, the trick for today. This new ability to change the order of your blocks just using this cool drag and drop functionality available in the list view. So I hope you found that useful. If you did uh, and you want to see more Gutenberg tips and tricks, just hit the subscribe button. Um, if you click the like button, then it will also help share it around YouTube so other people can benefit as well. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.